Hey there Pisces, welcome. This is Renee, welcome back. Pisces, this is your rating. We're going to take a look at the cards, see what's coming out. What's going on for Pisces? Okay, let's get into your energy. Your energy and love is Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay, so put yourself first. For some of you, we have deception. Someone is wearing a false self-mask in this relationship. Okay, so be aware. Be aware someone's not telling you the truth. Okay, maybe it's time to put yourself first. Put your feelings first you know um let's take a look at some more energy for pisces see what's going on and this one okay we have angel therapy archangel Raphael. give yourself cares excuse me give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens So you have angels that have your back at this moment, right? You also have gift from God. Archangel Sandofan. We angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. Okay. So you have gifts and angel protection. You know, they want to take away your burdens. Take away what something that's bothering you, something that's worrying you, right? That's beautiful energy. We have a thinker. So you may be deep in thought at the moment. 4-4, four, four, you know, that may be very significant for you. Fours are all about thinking, all about, you know, um, deciphering things. At the bottom, we have chaos and conflict, 3-3. Three, three. So, there's some changes coming about for you. There may be some struggles that you're going through, but I feel like big changes are coming, right? So, that's beautiful energy. Um, Pisces. I feel like your angels are trying to help you get through a hard situation. And your guides are telling you to put yourself first. Put your feelings first. Notice your feelings. Notice your triggers. Right? Let's get some tarot. What is Pisces' current energy? What is Pisces' current energy? The Six of Cups. Hmm. Past energy. The Hangman. And the Knight of the King of Wands. Future energy. The King of Cups, wow. And the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, you're planting seeds for the future. You're, you're growing, okay? This may be something that you're growing in love. You're growing in internally, I'm getting. Um, <clears throat> there may also be some kind of spiritual growth that you're going through. Here in the near past situation, I feel like you're caught up in your head. You're trying to be more aware of a situation and you're looking for answers, right? You may need to take a different perspective to look at the, the situation from different eyes or even a different point of view. There may be a need for you to compromise 
in some kind of situation, especially with this King of Wands. This King of Wands, he's ready to take action. He's ready to be bold and assertive, right? So there may be some kind of situation that you were thinking about that brought out that fire, brought out that trigger, right? Because the 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 King of Wands, he's like taking action, going after what he wants. Sometimes he can go with, um, be very aggressive, right? And I feel like what you're wanting is peace. Your, your present moment, you're wanting peace. You're wanting to be around family. You're wanting to be around people who love you, right? You're wanting this happy family, happy life. Uh, you may be reminiscing about people, things from the past, right? But I feel like, you know, you're, you're having like these growing pains, Pisces. And it's moving you to becoming a more caring, a more nurturing person. You're growing. There's seeds being planted, right? For some of you, this isn't all of you, but for some of you, you were hurt and caught in your head by someone. Maybe someone from the past with this King of Wands energy, someone very attractive, someone that you had a lot of chemistry with, right? Uh, physical chemistry, sexual chemistry. Someone who you felt was very alive. Uh, someone who takes a lot of action. You know, they could be busy. This could also be someone who was sort of a player, right? Someone who played mind games. And I feel like here in the near future, you have someone who's very caring and nurturing. Okay, so I feel like when you're leaving one part, you're going into another, one that's going to not have you in your head all the time. Someone who's planting seeds to make something grow, something flourish, someone very loving and kind, right? Tell me more about this energy, this um, hangman. King of Wands energy. Tell me more about this. Give me more messages. The Two of Cups. Yeah, you, you thought that this was your love. What they were offering you is very valuable. It may have been that you were in a relationship with this person for a long time. You know? But I feel like there's... Some controlling issues. This could have been an Aries. Um, it doesn't have to be. But this is someone that you really cared about. It's someone that you loved. But I feel like there was an aspect that they were trying to control you. They were trying to maybe control the way you dressed. Controlled your emotions. Controlled the people that you seen yourself around, right? There may have been children involved with the Six of cup, Cups energy. Wow. But it's something that... In order to find yourself again, you had to leave the situation because you kind of lost yourself during a time, right? You kind of let down your guards and you let this person come in and kind of take over the situation. But now you're wanting your control back. 
you're wanting to make your own decisions. So now you're kind of moving away from that person's energy. You're moving away from that King of Wands. Tell me more about this King of Cups. Message for this King of Cups, please. The Hermit in Reverse. You don't want to be alone again. Uh, the Four of Swords in Reverse. Yeah, you definitely lost yourself in a situation. But I feel like this King of Cups energy is planting the seeds for you to go through this cycle and find your happiness again. Because you feel like you're, like you're not yourself. Like you are very vulnerable, right? Like you're not able to find the peace of mind, the calmness. But that's ending. That's ending and you're going to find your happiness. So this King of Cups is plant, planting the seeds to help you find yourself again. Right? It's bringing you out of this emptiness, this empty space. And you're able to, in that cycle, learn those lessons and find your happiness. You're able to celebrate. You're able to take control of your situation. Find your happiness. Right? Tell me about the Six of Cups energy. Tell me about the Six of Cups energy, please. The Queen. Wow. The Queen is in reverse. So she's definitely protecting her energy. She's, you know, all up in her feelings. She's really bitter and distraught. You know, there's a lot of sadness here. Um... Sadness for maybe a relationship that you lost, a loved one that you lost. Um, but I feel like you're caught up in your head, Pisces. I feel like you're, you're moving past this energy. You're moving away from this energy. You're able to find love again. You know, you're able to trust yourself. Look at this. After this ending, after you walk away from the situation, you have the Ace of Cups. Okay? So there is new love here. You are able to love yourself. I feel like that's the reason why we have this put yourself first card. Love yourself. You know, give yourself that self-love, that self-care. Because you're deep in your feelings. There's something that really hurt you greatly that you had to walk away from, okay? Once you're leaving the situation, you're opening yourself up to something new. Loving yourself, loving your reality now, you know? Um, a lot of things have been revealed to you during this time. You're able to see clearly what went wrong what went right, right? You're able to really do that review. And it, it helps you to kind of trust the choices that you made, okay? Something is being revealed, okay? You also have this Ace of Pentacles. So not only do you have the Ace of Cups, you have the Ace of Pentacles. So there's something within you that you're finding again. It may be your resources. It may be your uh, your money, right? There's some kind of gain here, okay? There's something that you're gaining. It could be your health. It could be your well-being, your mental stability, right? But something is bringing you a lot of stability here. Something is bringing you this feeling of this new beginning, 
Okay, you're able to make healthy choices to juggle the things that are important. You know, you're still in the reverse when it comes to money. So there may be a lot of things that you're lacking at the moment. You may be lacking stability, but those things are on the way. You know, something's going to be balanced. Something is going in your favor. If it's a court decision, you're victorious, right? Um, so good things are coming. Okay, don't be all up in your head about certain situations, Pisces. Okay, what advice do we have for Pisces for this situation? What advice do we have for Pisces? Give me a message Pisces needs to hear. The good thing is you're ending a cycle and you're moving into a lot more happiness, Pisces. So that's a good thing. Even though your emotions may not be exactly where you want them to be, um, it's time to put yourself first. It's time to give yourself that self-care, that self-love. You know, take care of yourself, your health. Okay? Messages for Pisces. Yeah, take care of yourself. Find that relaxation because your finances are going to work themselves out. Look at this. The Ten of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, and the Lovers. Definitely. At the bottom, we have the Ten of Cups. So you are finding your happiness again after feeling all this chaos and conflict. You're finding something that brings you to this happy place that makes you feel more peaceful. You know, um, I feel like it is time to watch your spending. It is time to notice where your money is going because this abundance here is coming in. Okay, something is coming in to make you feel very abundant, very happy, taken care of, having what you need, right? And now, with this King of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, this is something that you're really not sure of. It's something that you're very curious about. You may be really getting to know this person or really starting to open up to discovering who this person is. But I feel like there's a lot of communication going on between you and this person. You're figuring things out. You're working things out, right? And this may well be that soulmate connection that you're looking for. You have the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the lovers, right? So this is something that's bringing you happiness and joy. You know, this is love. This is the way love is supposed to be seen. You know, there's always going to be things that you're going to be curious about, especially when you're getting to know someone. You know, I feel like you're doing a lot of talking back and forth. You're really getting to know each other, right? You're getting to ask questions and have those questions answered honestly, right? I'm going to take three more cards because I want to know more about this. Give me more messages for this situation. Okay, the devil in reverse, taking your control back. The uh, eight of swords in reverse and the emperor in reverse. Wow. All of them are in reverse. Look at this. The Ten of Cups is still on the bottom. Right? So this person who's coming in, they don't want to control you. This person doesn't have um, very many addictions, very many negative aspects about them. You know? And I feel like it's taking you a little bit off guard because this person feels too good to be true. Those are the words that I'm getting. But I feel like this person is very real. They're not trying to be controlling. They're letting you take the lead. Um, they're willing to let you pursue whatever your dreams desire. You know, they're not holding you back. 
they're not making you feel self-confined, right? You're no longer in that prison. So I feel like this is really beautiful. This person doesn't want to control you. They don't want to bind you or hold you back from things. I feel like this person has a very positive energy. Um, and all they want is good things for you. They want to see you grow and flourish. That's the reason why they're planting seeds. Um, to see what grows. Okay, so this is something brand new. This is something brand new that's you know just now creating or flourishing if you haven't met this person yet i feel like you will very soon um, matter of fact let's get a timeline <clears throat> let's get a timeline for pisces timeline for pisces please Okay, a few weeks. Wow. At the bottom, we have two months. So it's between a few weeks and two months. Okay, Pisces. Um, have patience. This is something good coming. Oh, wow. Let's get some angel cards. <clears throat> Let's get some angel cards for Pisces. Okay, we have summer. So, um, you'll be taking a lot of action by summer. You know, summer is just around the corner. That is within a few weeks, right? And we have the mirror. So, there's going to be a lot of truths that are being revealed to you, okay? And I feel like you're changing your direction. And there's something to do with divine timing. Things are happening in its own divine timing, okay? So, there's nothing that should be rushed. There's nothing that should be forced. Let things happen naturally and have that natural progression, right? Um, but I feel like, look at this. She's looking in the mirror and seeing something beautiful. There's something that you're figuring out. There's some kind of truth that's coming out for you, right? So let's get some monology cards for Pisces. <clears throat> okay we have confidence is the key to your success finding your confidence again right we have prosperity lies ahead that's this ten of, ten of pentacles energy and we have you and your loved ones are safe right so there's that angel protection that we were talking about you are being protected and in a lot of aspects, I feel like you're being divinely guided. You're being redirected into another position. So I feel like this whole reading is just a fact that the angels, the higher power, is redirecting you into something that you are meant to be. Right? Let's get an angel number for Pisces. An angel number for Pisces, please. Okay. Yeah, we have 999. Release. Endings are new beginnings in, in disguise. An ending symbolizes the closure of one door and the opening of another. The whisper is reminding you to release and allow. It is in the release where the magic happens. Okay, your affirmation. Doors open for me where others have closed, bringing transformation to my mind, my body, and my soul. Beautiful. Okay, Pisces, uh, this is your reading. I hope this helps you. And if it resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate with you, take a, take a look at your other placements. And until your next reading, many, 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 many blessings to you. Love and light.